Hey y'all, and today we're doing something very easy and delicious. It's Bahamian Grilled Conch, but we're not using the grill. So here are our ingredients. Plantains, orange, onions, tomato, garlic, goat pepper, or what you say, scotch bonnet. And there goes our conch in salt water. So what I did, I just took it out of the bag. And of course, when I go to get the conch it's not fresh like you would on the island you will get it fresh out of the sea and you can you know ask them you could just bag it up and take it home and you can tenderize it so i asked the good folks at the store to just run it through the tenderizing machine about twice for me and that's usually what i do and that's good for me so when i get home it would depend on how i'm going to prepare it i just take my meat tenderizer the rough side of it the texture side of it and i just go and i just pound it out this is a good way to get that aggression out i promise you so we're just going to go ahead i pound it out on both sides in the Ziploc bag for easy cleanup and that's what we're looking for so we're just gonna set that aside so I thought I have the footage with me cutting up the tomatoes to show you exactly how it is but that's a plum tomato that I just cut up in you know good size slices and this is the onion I'm just showing you how then I want to slice it. So here goes the plantain. It is good. It's not fully ripe, but it's just about there. Just give you enough sweetness to go with the acidity of this grilled conch. So we're just going to go and run the knife down the back side of it. And I'm showing you how I'm going to put my finger just under the skin where we had already scored it. And we're just going to go ahead and peel it in one, one solid go. I'm just going to take that skin off, put it in the garbage bowl nearby, and then we're good to go. So we're just going to take the knife, just, yeah, yeah, you know, onions just move over just a little bit. So this was uh, for my camera person, and I was asking them how thin or how big they wanted the plantains, and they were like, oh, no, 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 that's good. But of course, the plantains, you could cut it as thick or as thin as you want to. I would suggest to cut it a little bit thicker just my suggestion you know and so we're just gonna go ahead and cut this and make sure that we get everything uh oh there goes a plantain overboard but we saved it <laughs> so here it is and so now that we've done with this plantain we're just gonna take our fresh thyme and thyme has a lemony um, citrus sent to it and it's the most caribbean or island cuisine this is the cherry on top it just rounds out all of the flavors so we're just going to take those sprigs of the fresh thyme and for the containers that i'm going to be doing that's all the time i'm going to be using so here's a container i got from the dollar store i'm putting everybody in the container it's not that big um so it's individual size enough that you could handle and we want everybody in this container, the onions, the uh, plants in the tomato and the fresh thyme. And we're gonna go ahead and not fully squeeze all the juices out of that half of an orange. There goes the conch. We're gonna layer in the conch right there and make sure everything is tossed and combined. We don't wanna have all the plantains at the bottom and everything else at the top, no. I want it evenly distributed and then we're going to go in with um, some fresh lime juice and when I say fresh lime juice it gets the job done it gets the job done but if you only have the bottled lime juice then just use what you have you listen life is complicated enough we're not trying to do all of that so we're just going to finish and squeeze all of this orange juice out of this half of an orange that we have here and then go back in with another half of a lime. So that's one whole lime to a half of an orange. It gives you enough acidity, enough liquid, and that's all you need. I'm not gonna add any water, and I'll show you why in a minute. So of course I'm using natural sea salt in this, and I don't need too much, because conch being one from the ocean, it has a lot of salt already, but of course, you could salt it to taste. Um, you could also add your pepper to taste as well. And of course, again, just giving that another toss um, in this container and making sure that everything is exactly where I want it to be and good to go. So, you know, we got a little bit 
something else to do and there goes the liquid that's all the liquid you need just had to show you it I did not add any water and of course we got to put everything back the way it was before so there it is now doesn't that look scrumptious so we just add just a little dab of butter you know a little dab will do you and there goes the lid I'm not gonna clamp it down because I want the steam to escape while it cooks so in a regular baking pan this is the pan I usually do my brownies and um, mac and cheese and you know I use that one and I just put a little bit of water in there and we're gonna put that in the baker at 350 for about 25 30 minutes you can do this on a stove top medium low heat um, and just watch it when the plantains change a little bit color or just get a little bit soft your conch is done it does not take that long I promise you it doesn't it's gonna be real good so you can have this with white rice or dinner rolls or just regular old plain bread look at that like comment share and subscribe Thank you.